All right, I guess it's uh, time to begin. Where's my camera? Here it is. Wine, focus, and click, click. Well, I click, wine, click. Hello everyone, this is Taki from BigHeadTalker.com and welcome to BHT Studios. I thought I would do a two minute Tuesday, but this might take longer than two minutes. But all I wanted to do was talk about maybe three different accessories that I have because I got a lot of questions about, you know, what's in my bag, what's in my kit, what things, like what brands that I use for certain things. And so I thought I would go over three things and one will apply to my analog photography friends, another one will be for my digital photography friends, and the last one is for both analog, digital, instant, whatever type of photography equipment you have, this should apply. And so let's start with number one for digital, which is these carrying cases. I'm, I'm using the Ruggerd memory card case, and you can get these on, can you see that? Hopefully that's focusing there. You can get these on Amazon. I'll put links down below for everything. And this basically, um, it comes in different, I think there's a, a four card slot. So it's like basically half the size of this and it folds down in half. I have the eight, but um, whenever you travel on vacation, I would always recommend to, to have these. One for the most extreme condition uh, situation, let's just say, I always have these weird things playing in my head. Like let's say you're on a ferry and it starts to sink and you can swim and you got a life vest so you'll survive, but all your camera equipment's gonna sink. Well, if you have this, this is water and dust resistant but not proof. What I actually do when I travel is I do carry a those high-end Ziploc bags, high-end ones that are immersible. And what I would do in an emergency situation is to grab all my memory cards, make sure they fit inside here, close this, and put them in that Ziploc bag. And so even if all my cameras sink, at least my pictures don't. And as well, once I'm finished shooting and I pack cameras away, and even if I leave my hotel or whatever it is and I'm leaving the cameras behind, I never leave my memory cards behind because you can always replace camera gear, but you can't replace the images and the video that you have taken. And so I use this one, the Ruggerd, because it is water dust resistant, but again, inside a Ziploc bag, if you want it completely uh, weatherproof. And I like the, the weight and the, the quality of this one here. Next, this is for analog photographers, film photographers, is to have one of these uh, Japan Camera Hunter film cases. And so I don't see, no, can you, can that, does it pick up on this? Now this has the camera film photo enjoy film stickers. And the thing about uh, about the camera film photo, so hey Vishal, is he, he typically gives you stickers when you get your case. So you, you know, you can buy these cases from various retailers, but uh, buy from Vishal because he's cool. And also because he does get some limited edition colors like this Kodak yellow, which I don't think he has any more left, but you can ask him. Um, there are knockoffs of these, but you can tell on the bottom, they all say made in Japan and it says Japan Camera Hunter. That you probably, can you guys see that? Maybe you can. But there's nothing like having to carry five rolls of film in their individual canisters. It does sort of keep them protected and if you have certain films, which is a high speed film or infrared, you probably should keep it in the blackened uh, film cassettes, but just for basically everyday shooting, it is nice to have this. And I actually have two of them, one for finished rolls and one for fresh rolls. And I have different colors so I know which one is which. So I highly recommend getting these things if you are a film photographer. They come in, in one, two, three, four, fives and tens and uh, Bellamy also makes them, Japan Camera Hunter also makes them for 120. So that's for film photographers. And the final one, is kind of a, a, I don't call it a secret, but kind of because um, maybe not a lot of people know about this. It's the Kuda uh, the lens cleaning kit. Can you see that? Beautiful uh, leather case. You can get this, I think, in black or this nice brown, this tan brown. And there are cheaper versions of it that uses nylon. So if you don't, it, you know, if you don't want leather and you want nylon, you can get a nylon version. But you know, often a lot of us have cleaning kits, but they don't. They're not easy to transport, and you have to kind of make or find your own case. But with this. 
uh, um, uh, Kuda of Japan. So this this is all made in Japan. Now I've I've modified this kit because he actually does give you an extra slot. So I do. I did put the lens pen in here, and so there is an empty slot, but you can use that empty slot for an extra bottle of their cleaner. And so this cleaner here um, is made specifically and specially for Kuda. You can only get it through them, I'm sure. It's a non-alcohol base. It won awards, I think around the world, but specifically in Japan as product of the year a couple of years ago but this a uh, lot of uh, guys that do uh, camera repairs and CLA will use this and I've seen this being used in Hong Kong and I know uh, for a fact that a lot of the repair guys in Japan as well use this uh, for lens cleaning so it's very safe but before you start wiping your lenses you should be using an air blower and and or a proper cleaning brush like this now this brush is uh, Kumano. I think that's the name of the brand. Uh, they specialize in making brushes and I'm going to try to do a little close up there so you can pick up on this. Now this uh, Kumano, I think Kumano is a city in Japan and they specialize in making um, uh, I think it's goat hair brushes for um, uh, for calligraphy but as well as for makeup and this is the first time that they allowed a uh, camera brand to, or at least to use it as a lens cleaning it really draws all the dust and 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 whatever particulates off the lens and directly it absorbs it into the brush and that's what makes it so good and it's made out of metal it comes in a little plastic bag when you first buy it and it has the the kumano city like an official seal that says that it's made by them or from that city so it's it's the real thing and so what you would do is air blow if you can, but if you're in the field and this is all you have and you know you, you would use this or lens brush like this or lens pen and you would clean it and then you would use these um, microfiber sheets here that fit perfectly inside this case right there and then you would use the liquid. Now you put the liquid onto the sheet. Don't put the liquid directly onto your lens. That's not the way to do it. Put this onto the sheet and then you wipe it, you fold it in half, and then you wipe it again, absolutely no residue. I use this to clean uh, my laptop screen, I use this to clean my iPhone, I use it to clean everything, but as I mentioned, I have modified my kit with um, my uh, a lens pen, because I usually use a lens pen, not just for the lens, but also just to clean the dust off and around the body, so that's why I don't use this, the p lens pen part here. I don't use this on the lens itself anymore, at least the one I put it, put inside this kit and I also do have a, uh, a microfiber sheet if I am cleaning my laptop or iPhone so I've modified mine but I say this this is a really good investment for anyone who uh, wants clean lenses but as well to do it properly and again there's two different um, versions and I'll, I'll leave the link down below uh, uh, camera film photo sells it in Hong Kong and they do international shipping and so that's probably one of the better places to buy it and you can buy these refill kits after and so if you run out of this uh, whatever's in here you can buy this or you could just buy this let's say you already have your own kind of a you know a photography dop kit and I've done a video about what's in my dop kit here it's the kilo dop kit made by Chrome Industries but so maybe you already have something like this you could just buy this alone or you could buy this and then buy the refills but anyways this is a really good I know some have bought it as gifts for other photographers but uh, I'd say buy it for yourself and then wherever you go you always bring this because it's important to have clean lenses and so that is pretty much it hopefully that was definitely not two minutes but hopefully it's under 10 and uh, this t-shirt was sent to me by Eduardo, my buddy from Tijuana, Mexico, and one of his buddies made it, and I haven't got a confirmation of who made it and where you can buy it. So uh, by the time I make the video, I could either put it here, uh, the artist's Instagram account, and then maybe put a link down below. But he also, let me just grab something. He also sent me this, this T Tijuana, Mexico, um, sticker along with this cool Roliflex heart um, whatever this is called but uh, if you can buy it I'll, I'll make sure to put the links down below and uh, thank you Eduardo and friend of Eduardo for for sending me this super dope shirt and I think that's it sorry for not having too many videos 
As my other videos have already explained, I'm, I'm busy shooting a show, a TV show, and so um, I'm really backed up and I want to shoot more videos, but I can't right now. So thanks for your patience, guys. Uh, keep up with me on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm very active on both of those. And uh, that's it. We'll talk to you soon and happy shooting. Peace.